Hello everybody and welcome back to Uncle Jack's Outdoors. It's July 2020 and we're here in Somerset, Kentucky. We're going to be doing some maintenance on the 1989 215 Sundowner today. Let's go ahead and get a uh, drive lube and an oil change done. Like I said, this is a 1989 Four Wind Sundowner. It has the OMC drive and OMC engine set up, which means this will not be applicable to Mercruiser. Okay, the drive lube change is fairly straightforward. You'll need a large flathead screwdriver, and most importantly, you'll need this pump, which threads from the one quart gear lube to the fill plug on the out drive. Okay, we need to remove three plugs. This is the drive lube drain plug, the drive lube fill plug, and the fluid level check plug. Okay, while well, that's finishing up on the drain there, let's talk about these plugs. The only thing to note on the level plug is uh, when we refill it, we need to make sure we get it all the way to the mark. The drain and fill plug are identical. I did have a few metal shavings, but keep in mind this drive has both dog gears and U-joints. A few metal shavings are not really alarming. And lastly, I just want to note, this is a reusable neoprene washer. These are great. If you've got the original rubber washer, you probably want to replace it. Okay, we've replaced the drain plug and we've attached this special pump from the one quart container of mercury 90 weight gear lube we've threaded it into the fill plug and we're going to go ahead and pump in about 2.2 quarts alright I've pumped the two quarts in and I like to have three quarts when I do this. That way I can just keep moving it. Otherwise I find that you just stuck a bunch of air trying to get the last little bit out of each bottle. Here we've got the level check plug. And we're nice and up above the line there just a little bit. Nice clean gear oil. Okay guys, last step is just to remove this and install the plug. Okay, we've got the drive lube changed there, and one last step before we... Don't forget about that little guy. So this uh, grease fitting here goes to your gimbal bearing. Two pumps right there. Well, you got the grease gun in your hand. Every boat trailer should have a set of bearing buddies. And I like to give a couple pumps beginning and mid-season. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is an oil change. This boat has a 5 liter Ford engine from 1989. I've got the filter, the wrench, and on most boat motors you actually have to suck the oil out of the dipstick, which I will demonstrate here in a minute. 5 quarts of fresh 10W30 Pennzoil going back in her. We're in the boat. I'm going to go ahead and pull the oil dipstick. This is actually a garden head, gar garden hose thread. So, a little bit of a pain, but what we do is we pump this very fast and it will drain 
into the empty tubes here. Okay, here's one more look at the sort of tedious method, but this pump allows you, allows you to extract the oil through the dipstick tube, and the engine's actually designed this way, it's actually designed to do it just this way. But it does take some time and some patience. Okay, we're on the port side of the motor. Come on. There she comes. Buzz this oil filter off and put a new one on. Okay, the last thing we've got to do is put five quarts of our 10W30 right here in the oil fill cap. Well, while we're in here, let's go ahead and replace the fuel filter. Here's the OMC fuel filter. I didn't have one. Luckily, all boats right up the road did. We'll go ahead and throw a new fuel filter on while we got the engine compartment open. Okay, I threw the dates on the filter there. That's the fuel filter and the oil filter. She's topped off with fluids. And we're going to back the boat over to the spigot. Make sure everything's running good.